Alright, greetings and salutations! My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back for more Mega Man Zero Four! In the last episode, we started up the LP, and in this episode, we're gonna be continuing it. Hey, you! Stop! You're a Reploid! This isn't the place for you! Get out of here! Wait, we have something to tell you! I told you to get it. I forgot what accent I made for. Never mind. Wild's going to destroy this place. If you leave now, there's still time. I don't see you doing anything to stop them. Just saying. But it's dangerous to fight alone. Take us with you. Yeah, but humans made Reploids, so... You're just as at fault. So, I don't get it. <laughs> if the humans want to, you know, not accept any help, then, you know, so be it. We'll just do things on our own. Oh my god, I'm so hungry, but there's nothing to eat in this house. Anyway, I found the signals for Wild's army. There are eight units. So, here are our missions for the game. Now, unlike any other games in the Zero series, you're not just limited to uh, your first four Reploids. You can actually choose any Reploid you want to start fighting. So we're going to start out with a uh, Heat Gemblem here. Now there's a weather system. You can change the weather. And if uh, there's not like a little flashing light around it. Like if there's a flashing light around it, it means the weather is uh, definitely bad for you. Like there's going to be an added effect that's going to end up hindering you. But if you do do that, you get the EX. If you beat the game, beat the level with uh, the bad weather you get that, uh, Reploid's EX skill. If you, if it's not flashing, the weather's much better for you, but you don't get the EX skill. There are no elemental chips in this game, so EX skills are the only way to exploit an elemental weakness. A large particle beam has been placed at point A4 by Vile's army. It fires intermittent laser beams, destroying everything in the area. It appears to be solar-powered. Soon it'll be within firing range of Area Zero. Cut the power supply to the particle beam before Area Zero comes into its range. All right, so we're going to be taking on Heat Gemblum. Be careful. All right. Zero! We can't stop that part of me from outside. And we'll try to stop from the inside. That's okay. I'll just go in through the barrel. That's way too dangerous. Cool, let's go. All right, now we got some rockets. These rockets are cool. Rockets are really snazzy. Kids dig rockets. Yeah, but they're weak, so not even not even gonna touch that one. I do like this one though. This isn't what I'm talking about. Never mind. <laughs> I like the one that we get in a little bit. Alright. So there's not much to say too much about this level, but, uh... Well, not yet. Actually, all the levels in Zero Four were kind of forgettable, to be honest. I beat most of the game in one day anyway. So I guess that isn't helping my opinion of it. Overall, like... Pretty forgettable after... The amazing... I didn't know I could do that. I don't even know what I hit. Well, this isn't the one I wanted, but oh well. I'll take it. Now time for the most annoying mini-boss in the entire series. God, I've got no idea how to hurt this guy. Well, I, yes I do, because I've beaten the game. Just, he seems to, uh... take way too many shots to kill. Oh, 
Come on. Fortunately, he's not shooting his, uh, flaming tornado, which is his most annoying attack. Good, I escaped. <laughs> Alright, there we go. That could have been a lot worse. I mean, that guy cost my life a few times! I, that couldn't actually hit us. It'll flash twice, and then it'll fire. So, uh, be careful. Time it right, or else you will die. Energy crystals. The beam will also kill enemies, which is cool. Now, the beam isn't a one-hit kill, but it does do a pretty sickeningly high amount of damage, so... You know, without a Cyber Elf increasing your HP, like they can do, uh... With that Nouvelle here increasing our HP like she can do later, that beam will actually probably kill us in one hit right now. Fortunately, with one more level, she can start expanding our health a bit. Alright. So it's a pretty interesting level gimmick. Just be careful that it doesn't bite you in the ass. As it so easily can. Okay, it wasn't enough to kill us, but that was way more damage than we needed to take. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, now let's get back to where I wanted to go. Okay. I want that, uh... Crap. I need that thing up there so I can get the, uh, little... Damn it. Hey, never mind. I'll get it later. I don't think it's anything important anyway. Alright. Still going? Still going? Good. Now we don't have to worry about them, uh, hitting us. Uh, you may be wondering what the, uh, little chip things are used for that I keep picking up. I'll get into that later. Well, basically, we can use it to build, uh, upgrades and stuff. Like, we can get double jump ability. Get all sorts of cool, nice stuff. All sorts of neat stuff. Tasty little treats. I want to get a little more health from Nouvelle. I'm pronouncing that right. I don't speak French, so... Nouvelle, come on, thank you. I'll just call her Nouvelle. Ragnarok will wake the humans from their stupidity. It is the grand plan of our group under Commander Kraft. I'm one of the I'm the Ja warriors. Heat Gamblum, I will defeat all who stand in our way. This is the first boss I always take on because EX skill is cool. Fortunately, he can be a little tricky. Oh man, the emulator keeps lagging. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. No, we weren't going to survive that one. He's the first boss that I usually take on, but he's still a little difficult. Especially if you have nothing to really... Especially if you're at a disadvantage like I am here with the... Uh, Over, I think he's a nice, fun... Damn it! Now, I'm just being stupid. I need to, uh... Focus. I haven't just... I just haven't LP'd in a while. That's a thing. I've been, uh... I haven't actually played games in a while, either. It's just I've been, uh... 
taking a break from technology at these last few days. And I tried Alpine, uh... Yesterday, I tried Crisis City on, a uh, Sonic 06, which was the level that, you know, I learned that this is the worst LP I've ever tried to do. Damn! I can't do my usual strategy. Oh, that goes all the way across. I was in short. Okay, come the hell on, Heat! Oh, he was right there. Alright, come on. Yeah! How long is it gonna go for? Christ! Okay. Alright, now we're in a much better position. See, I've taken a nice little technology break, and I've kind of forgotten how to, you know, touch a keyboard. Oh no, come on, Heat. Man, I'm gonna, I don't want to do this. He's not the only boss that uses this kind of gimmick, gimmick either. I, I know for a fact there's a boss coming up in maybe the next part. What? Why was he going so few times before? Uh. Alright, come on. We just gotta survive one more. <sighs> there we go! I am sorry, this is the worst episode of anything I've ever filmed before. I am in such a choppy kind of mood right now. <sighs> cool. But we got an EX skill which will make the next few Mavericks easier. So let's go uh, upgrade Nouvelle a bit. Alright, so let's see what he can do now. Our health goes up. Slow down wall sliding. I'm gonna keep that. I press up and attack for triple rising slash. Not bad. Alright. So let's, let's take on one more mission. Operator... Here we go. I received the report that the giant drill sub is currently patrolling the bottom of the sea. Oh no. An earthquake? Earthquakes are kind of scary. You know, we had one here in, uh, on the east coast last year in August, and that that's something. I, I'd never experienced one. This is a timed mission. Now, I know there's probably a lot of places to explore, but when I have a time limit, I follow that time limit. And CL's trying to talk to us, but, you know, underwater, we're starting to get a lot of interference. I 
think uh, very soon she'll start becoming completely uh, incoherent. At least Nouvelle is giving us some good help. Good old Nouvelle. I love my little cyber elf, baby. They give you plenty of time if you know where you're going, and even if you don't, they still give you a lot of time. Or, God, where am I even going anymore? I had this the first time I played the game. Come on. Gotta keep going farther, then. Maybe I'm going the absolute wrong way, and it's looping. That's gotta be it. It's looping, I see. I never had to experience that the first time I played the game. You gotta be going the right way now. There we go, scenery change. There we go. Little pseudo 3D effects. Let's activate heat, heat fangs. So now we have a fire elemental attack. But how am I supposed to avoid that? Fine, let's see if what happens if I just start going. Okay, I'll I'll take that. Slicing or not. Yeah, some bosses even have elemental weaknesses like regular bosses. Get off of me, you dumb bird. Oh what? That was hardly fair. See, we gotta just stay over here. Slice, slice, slice. Okay, cool. Energy, please. Health, please. Anything, please. Gusta health. Yokiro health, I should say. Oh my god! I knew the dangers of Alpine when I wasn't in the mood, but did I listen to them? I did not. Sorry, the Zero Four series. Damn! Okay. Off to such a rough start.
Okay. Nouvelle, give me health. I'll just get some health elsewhere. That was a pretty cool... That was a pretty snazzy move of it, I don't say so myself. You're here! I've been waiting a long time for this, Zero! I'm not just one of the eight warriors, I'm a remnant of the Zanai army led by the late Phantom! I am Tech Kraken! I only put up with that wildness whole plan just so I can get revenge on the one who defeated him! Feel the rage of my former master! Ooh, someone's mad. The thing about Tech Kraken is, is he's insanely weak to the, uh, Fire Fang. That's why I defeat uh, Tech Gemblem first, so I can get, uh, Tech Kraken's awesome, uh, EX skill myself, pretty quickly. To crack and take a seal, ice javelin. Now we can shoot a nice long beam of ice from our uh, buster, which is a pretty cool skill. I even use it for the final boss. Only to some, CL. Only to some.